Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. Today we are going to talk about design and simulation of three-phase half-wave control rectifier using MATLAB. This is a circuit diagram of a three-phase half-wave control rectifier. It basically employs three thyristors that is connected across three phases that is VA, VB and VC. Uh, we are referencing each of these voltage sources having phase difference of 120 degree with respect to each other. So let's get into the design portion of it. So this is the design we'll be considering 230 volt per phase and firing angle of 60 degree. Uh, a resistance of 10 ohm is chosen. The first step is to determine the average value of output voltage remember we have to substitute vm as 230 into root 2 and substitute the value we'll be getting the voltage per phase multiplied by 3 you will be getting the overall output voltage that is 232.95 volt step 2 is to determine the rms value of output voltage so vm again should be substituted as uh, 230 into root 2 substitute you'll be getting overall rms value of output voltage here one of the most important steps uh, with respect to MATLAB is how the firing angle uh, in uh, general is in degrees and how do you convert into seconds in MATLAB because uh, MATLAB takes uh, the firing angle in seconds as phase delay. So uh, the frequency is 50 hertz. The reciprocal of it uh, will give you the time period that is 0 0.02 seconds. So each uh, duration of time period is associated with 360 degree and every 0 0.01 seconds is associated with 180 degree. So each and every degree corresponds Responds to 5.55 into 10 power minus 5 seconds. If you are finding it for 60 degree, then multiply it with the standard value. You will be getting 3.33 into 10 power minus 3 seconds. So you have to enter similar values uh, correspondingly. You have to find it for phase B and phase C, which is different because uh, they start with firing angle from 120 degree and 240 degree. I'll be entering those values uh, directly uh, in MATLAB. So uh, refer to that. So let's get started. Let's go to MATLAB. Alright, here we are. Uh, click on the Simulink library browser to search each and every component that is required for the circuit. First step is uh, we need an AC voltage uh, source. So search for AC voltage, you will be getting this. Add this block to model and, and title. Uh, we have to uh, search for a power gear block. This is one of the most important blocks for simulation to take place. Uh, we need a voltage measurement block. We also need a thyristor. Uh, so search for thyristor, you will be getting it. We are not using a bridge over here. We will use individual thyristor. Uh, apart from that we need a pulse generator to trigger these thyristors so search for pulse generator block uh, you'll be getting it over here uh, once that is done uh, we need a series RLC branch search for series RLC you'll be getting it at this branch uh, we need to find the mean and RMS value so search for mean uh, you will be getting both mean and RMS value one of the most commonly made mistakes is that we have to not choose this RMS value and we have to choose this RMS value uh, it's quite uh, different with respect to each other and be very careful with uh, respect to it we need a display block to display the magnitude of output voltage RMS value and mean value so add this block a couple of times so that we don't have to copy paste there we need scope to display the waveform so add this block as well uh, once this is done I guess uh, we are good to go we can get started let's arrange uh, these according to uh, the places where they are supposed to be there uh, just to uh, rig up a circuit diagram as quick as possible so a voltage source across the load so let's place this, this is a power gear block as I said uh, this is the AC voltage source that is used so uh, double click on the thyristor disable the measurement port we are not using it uh, copy paste uh, thyristor uh, so we'll have a uh, three thyristor connected in this fashion mm, then uh, double click on the voltage source and we are using uh, 230 volt RMS value so one of the commonly made mistake is we have to enter 230 into root 2 here, over here and not 230 directly so if you enter 230 you will definitely go wrong so 325.26 is the approximate value here and we'll be entering 50 Hertz once that is done control C uh, and control V you'll be getting uh, uh, will be requiring another two sources that is for phase A and phase B double click on them only change the phase angle that is 120 degree phase shift uh, with respect to B and uh, another 120 that is 240 degree phase shift with respect to C click on OK um, we will be uh, copy pasting the pulse generator block as well before that set it to 0 0.01 seconds because of uh, it corresponding to one half cycle let pulse width be uh, the same or you can change it to any value it doesn't matter it does not affect your output in this case uh, the phase delay should be set as 
as uh, 3.33 into 10 power minus 3 in this case once this is done uh, copy paste the pulse generator block because we need three of them for the other phases as well we need to enter their values as well so uh, only change the phase delay with respect to it we already have remaining parameters set up so uh, according to this we need to have a 0 0.01665 uh, click on OK with respect to it. Uh, according to phase uh, 3, uh, we need to set it to point, uh, 0 0.02997. This is for 60 degree for each of these phases. It can be calculated with the same procedure that is uh, given in the design. Uh, once that is done, uh, we are good to go uh, and get started with the circuit diagram connections. We are choosing a resistive load of about 10 ohms, so set that value. Um, and once that is done, uh, we'll be connecting all the cathode terminals together at one point. Uh, the resistance should be connected at the cathode terminal connected accordingly. And all of these should be connected to respective anodes of uh, the thyristors. So connect it according to the diagram. Uh, let's make this a closed circuit by connecting these sources at common terminals. Uh, we'll be connecting the resistor in order to close the circuit. We'll be connecting a voltage source across uh, the resistor in order to determine the output voltage. One of the important steps is to double click on the RMS and mean value, change the fundamental frequency to 50 Hz um, so that it remains in synchronism with our circuit which is 50 Hz of AC supply. Otherwise, uh, there are chances, there, there are not only chances, there you'll definitely be getting a deviation in the amount of output voltage that you get. So connect this RMS value across this as well and then uh, connect it to individual display. Remember, display only gives you the magnitude, it does not give you the sign of it. So uh, connect the output uh, voltage across uh, the scope. Uh, we'll be uh, triggering the thyristors according to this fashion for phase A, this is for phase B, and this is for phase C. Once this is done, set the simulation time period to one seconds because these are static loads, uh, and then click on run. All right, here we are. Uh, we're getting approximately equal to our theoretical calculation 232.3 and 252.2. This is the overall value of RMS and average values, uh, not with respect to per phase. So remember that step as well. Uh, once uh, that is done, uh, we are getting few voltage drops because of uh, these are not ideal switches. So uh, there are internal resistance across each of these uh, thyristors. So we're not getting the exact value. Uh, double click on the scope to check the output waveform. Uh, let's zoom in uh, by using this. Uh, by using this one uh, you will be able to see the waveform clearly so this clearly indicates uh, the output waveform of a three phase uh, half wave control rectifier you can see the amount of ripple to be slightly higher than the normal value uh, this can be reduced by using a full wave uh, full fa three phase uh, full wave rectifier circuit so that's it for today if you have any questions please don't write down your questions in the comment box below um, if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thank you